Yeah. It's crazy too because you came from like you know obviously in Detroit there's this there was this other era of like horrorcore rap kind of right. Right, right. You think of like uh, Esham, King Gordy, uh, obviously the Psychopath record shit. Um, that was this other like this whole other thing going on out there at the same right. time that you kind of also right. were like privy to as well. You personally, yeah. obviously, yeah, yeah. That movement, like, like, obviously, I want to get to the uh, ICP beef, but okay. uh, I'm I'm curious, like, uh, was was there like a the, that scene of Detroit hip hop that was like more like really underground, like I don't know if it's horrorcore, but you know what I mean. The ICP, right. the Esham, the King Gordy shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, they had like a they had his own lane of his own. You know what I'm saying? And uh And it was very specific yeah, to that area. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I really never knew nothing about that world until I started fucking with King Gordy. Cause King Gordy was signed to FBT, which the was the same production company uh Marshall was signed to. Mm. So that's how we met King Gordy. And then I started fucking with him and when we started doing our projects. He he was already kind of in in the in the jungle of the world, so he kind of, you know, in, introduced me to it. So it was nothing like I never that I sought after. I, I kind of I grew up hip hop boom bap, of course. Right. And it was like it's kind of a it's kind of a weird world, you know, to be honest. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. The juggalos, yeah, they, yeah, shout out to the they're all grown up man. now. Yeah, you, I've 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 yet to. <laughs> see, I've yet to meet like a seventeen year old juggalo like Damn. now, like right. these days, you know. Yeah. Like they're yeah. all like, right, thirty seven, right, minimum, yeah, minimum. right, and still out here rocking. Still oh, it's rocking. it's crazy though, cause like you know, I'll say this about them: they really uh, revolutionized merch. Yeah, they revolutionized support. being support. independent. Definitely, definitely. They did some things that a lot of people are practicing nowadays. I think that they helped. Show like guys like Tech Nine the way and Strange Music the way, yeah. you know. So, but when you guys had your back and forth, by the way, some of the best mm-hmm. skits ever. Uh, <laughs> the Ken Kniff from Connecticut shit, all that shit. <laughs> and I definitely was not a big right. ICP fan growing right. up. I thought right. their shit was terrible. Right. But I'd, I've gone to their shows. Like I've had Fago fly by me. Oh, they used to launch Fago yeah. in the fucking crowd. Oh yeah, the gathering. Yeah. Um, but uh. Uh, how, how crazy did, did that ever get? Was that anything other than just being comedic or being like just some rap shit, some '90s rap beef shit, or was it ever like? Oh no, no, it got serious. Yeah, how serious I, did it get? I, um, it was serious, like on sight. If we see them, they see us. It's whatever. Mm. And I think they ran into Marshall at, at a car shop or some shit, like way back in the day. I forgot what happened, but yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was serious, man. I remember one time. Uh, we had a show at St. Andrew, and uh, I guess ICP had like a talent show or something in the basement, and what we was performing up top, and we didn't know each other was gonna be there. And uh, I just remember they fans, they they fans gave it away because they 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 before we even like seen them. No, not even they was just giving us the meanest, like the, the oh. dirtiest fucking looks, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why everybody keep? Why these motherfuckers keep looking at us? Right. And like, everybody was like. ICP in the basement. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? But I think they end up squashing the beef that day. Okay, Poof yeah, yeah. And trick trick and uh, Vada J. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Cause that yeah. that sounds like a hairy situation. Yeah. You guys are upstairs. They're downstairs yeah. in the middle of a beef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could have got first wild. time we ever seen each other over the years. Was your situation with Esham? Did it have anything to do with with the ICP thing? Because I know he was nope, over there for a little. Nope, it was just something separate. Nope. Nope. Uh, I know, but I think Eshan, you know, I think Eshan, his thing was Marshall was showing him the respect by saying he was a cause between Eshan and Nazi. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, I think he, I guess he took it as disrespect or whatever. And, and Which is a crazy song. thing to take as disrespect. Yeah, yeah. In retrospect, yeah. Eshan right now is probably playing that line for his, oh, for, his, for his kids and being like, <laughs> look, Eminem said... I, Shout out to E, man. E, yeah. e cool, man. Yeah, nah, for sure. Nah, nah. Also kind of like, you know, kind of yeah. set, set a lot of that groundwork for where the ICP. Yeah, yeah, he definitely he a legend. A he, he he's definitely a legend. Detroit he's legend. A, he's yeah. a Detroit legend. It shows you to be, he, he was in high school doing that shit, selling out shows. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. 